Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 18th. So October 18th, keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This is for whoever it resonates with. It's for somebody, I don't know who, won't be for everybody. Typically these readings, um, these daily vibes play out a few days later for me. So, I mean, hey, it is what it is, right? Whenever it resonates, so just keep that in mind. Um, I'm just going to see whatever comes up. Typically my readings focus around love. And I do believe that this is probably going to be a love reading because whether it's a good one or a bad one, okay, it's going to be because I woke up this morning to this song. Um, well, I didn't wake up to it, but it's crossed my mind this, like, within recently, this morning. The Chapel of Love. What is it? We're going to the Chapel of Love. So, you know, hey. Ooh, yikes. And then we have the lovers reverse. Isn't that a contradiction? So this is the end of something. Okay, it's the end of a contract. Maybe you're not going to that chapel. Maybe you were and it's been canceled. <laughs> canceled plans. Um, or you could just be with the wrong one. That could certainly be the case. Jeez, I'm crow. Definitely some conflicts here. Stalking going on. You could have an ex-lover who... Whatever. We'll get some more cards. Is seeing you feel liberated seeing you rise oh my god and they may not be happy about it you could be dealing with somebody who doesn't want you to get what you deserve oh jesus yikes you definitely have somebody that is jealous in the mix there's no doubt about it you're dealing with somebody that is not happy with this situation and I've been using this deck, so there's these are reversed for a reason. So I don't want to hear any comments below about, oh, you did that on purpose. No, no. Just just because you have whoever th is thinking that, just because you do shit like that, don't mean I do. All right. So, so we got a person here. It could be Libra. Could be a Libra. Could be Gemini. Could be Aquarius. Could be anybody. Okay. We have somebody here that is not happy about your newfound freedom, your newfound ability to rise back up. Maybe they're not happy about the new love that you have found. Interesting. Now, with that justice reverse, it's like... Dishonesty. Oh, thank God. We got one upright, even though it's the the eight of swords. Stuck. Yeah. And, well, that bubble is about to be burst. Somebody's bubble is about to be burst. You see those things? They're going to penetrate and she's going to drop. Yep. Yep. Somebody's bubble is about to be burst. <laughs> Somebody's been keeping a secret. Somebody has been keeping a secret, keeping their their thoughts to themselves, but stewing about it, right? Stewing about it. Stuck in their head. Oh. <sighs> Goodness gracious. And now look at these are all upright. Not this one. That's funny. Uh-oh.
so here we have the five of wands this is about competition it's about competition it's about no longer playing i'm not gonna play this game anymore i'm not gonna play this game anymore removing yourself from the drama right the five of wands is like reversed it's like i don't need to be involved in this It, I see that we have a person here that has ended a false contract. The contract has ended. Looks like they have moved on with the Ten of Swords. It's like the, the rock bottom had been hit, but now I'm rising up. You know, I'm, I'm rising above it. I've risen above it. But you have this other person in the mix that is immature. They're not happy. They're not happy and they don't want you to get what you deserve. And it feels as though um, they've been keeping their feelings to themselves. Really, really going within to figure out what they need to do, but unable to do it. Okay? Unable to allow themselves to step outside of their comfort zone. Keeping themselves protected by not not making any moves when, you know, they they have this attraction that is undeniable, but they they don't dare to take action. So I think they've been keeping it to themselves, not communicating, not offering anything, holding on to bitterness and resentment and growing more bitter and resentful as each day passes that they don't take action. It's like, mm. I feel like you may need to defend yourself. You may have somebody from your, I think it's an ex, I do. I think it's an ex with that lover's reverse, somebody you've been with before. I think that there's an ex here that is not happy about your newfound faith or your newfound commitment. This is the Hierophant card. Your newfound belief in yourself, your, your ability to stand back up, you know, rise up from where they brought you. This person isn't happy about it. They probably still love you, but they're too bitter and hateful to say anything. That sucks, doesn't it? Oh, well. Anyhow, it feels like you have regained your faith. You've been listening. You've been going within, believing in yourself again, going down a new path, setting clear intentions, following your intuition, listening to your inner guide. And it feels like you 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 may have brought been brought down by this person who was immature and petty and whatever, but you aren't down anymore. You aren't down anymore. It's like your faith has been restored, and this person isn't happy. They don't. They don't. They're not. They're not happy. Maybe they've been served with some bad karma. For bringing you down. Right? So I feel as though there, there could be some intense energies around in the next couple of days because we have a we have a connection here that is very strong, or it was very strong at one time, and I feel as though You may need to defend yourself. You may receive some sort of communication from this person that you were with before. I think it's somebody that you've been with before. I think you may receive some communication from somebody that you have been with before that this isn't fair, you know, that kind of thing. Um, I don't know. See. 
Yeah, it looks like somebody doesn't want you to move on. They don't want you to accept that new offer. They don't want you to start that new cycle. Even though you've worked really, really hard to shed this, this person that treated you unfairly, this first person that brought you down. I think that you have done a lot of inner work, a lot of, uh, went through some sort of awakening. Um, and now you have manifested a new beginning. You have, you've manifested a new beginning. You have somebody from your past that doesn't want you to accept it. Okay, they don't, they don't want to accept it and they don't want you to accept it. Now, this magician is a person that takes action to bring success to their lives. And I feel that's probably you. I think that you have probably taken some sort of action to take back your power. Now, it's like this person that is bitter and resentful is trying to hold you back. They want, they're trying to hold you back. They don't want you to be together with somebody else. They don't want you to work with somebody else. They don't, they don't, but they don't want to put in effort either. They didn't appreciate you. This person that hurt you and brought you down and stabbed you and left you to, to bleed... made you walk on eggshells they didn't put in any effort this person that brought you down it really it really helped you on your spiritual journey you know cuz you had to believe again you had to find that faith you had to go within you had to seek. So I feel as though you have reached a spot of complete liberation. Like it's a self-mastery. You know, you've mastered yourself. You have. And now somebody is like, damn, damn. They, they're not ready to let go. Six of Cups. The pa <coughs> I said this was somebody from your past. It's just confirmed it. Somebody from your past doesn't want to let go. And they're, they've been keeping it inside, hiding it for quite some time. They don't want you to find your wish fulfillment. They don't. And that's that's bitterness right here. That's bitterness. That's resent. Anger. There was a loss of faith. This person from your past stole your faith. They made you feel insecure. They brought, they made you feel discouraged in life. <coughs> it's like they stole your inspiration. And now you've refound it. Because you did what you needed to do. You woke up, right? You woke up. So I feel like you have somebody from your past that is trying to restrict you from moving on. They don't want you to move on. Why? Why don't they want them to move on?
because they don't want to be alone. Nine of Pentacles. They don't want to be alone. They may be going through some sort of midlife crisis of their own and they're fairly lonely. You are dealing with a person that is absolutely feeling lonely. There's no doubt about it. Maybe this person has gone within themselves. Maybe they've, they've had a time to go within and refocus and replan and wake up. That doesn't mean it's not too late, right? Somebody has become aware. They're really, with the hermit next to the magician, somebody has become aware that I don't want to be alone. But this past only offered you false love. They never followed through, right? They were immature. They, they didn't. Their cup was never full. It was all fake. This person from the past was fake. They didn't, they didn't follow through. They didn't keep going. They were probably only with you for codependent reasons because they didn't want to be alone. And they still don't want to be alone, right? They still don't want to be alone. Now they see that you are liberated. You're standing up. You've released them. It's like, I'm not going to hang around here. This is unrealistic. Why would I? This person may want, all of a sudden, with the Seven of Wands down here, all of a sudden, maybe they want to fight for you. But why? Because they're angry. You could deal with somebody from your past that is angry and upset that you have moved on. That sucks. That sucks. People do that. They try to restrict people from being happy when they're not happy. I feel like you have been through some sort of major awakening through, you know, massive hurt with that Ten of Swords. You had no choice but to seek guidance, soul search, and wake up. You finally wake up. You find your strength to stand back up and move on. And believe in yourself and follow your own path and be happy. And somebody from the past that hurt you, the one that lied and was fake, sends some sort of communication or communicates with you to bring you back down. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yep. They bring some tension right back to the table. They see that you have some competition, right? They, or that they have competition. You're not going to be alone. No. Mm -mm. They see that you have found your strength. And you are being recognized by many. That's what they see. So I feel as though today, tomorrow, the next day, whatever, you could receive some sort of conflicting. And it ain't going to be a good message, okay? It's not. It's not going to be a good message. You could receive some sort of pissy message from somebody from your past or somebody that you've dealt with that
didn't offer you anything solid and committed in the past. You know, they didn't. They didn't. They've been keeping it a secret, but something happens where they can't control themselves. Their bubble gets bursted. Their bubble gets bursted, perhaps because you found a new love. I mean, you found a, that's this card is a choice between two. You found a new love. They see that you have found a new love. So, if this reading is for you, be prepared for some difficult communication from somebody that you have dated in the past because they see that you are happy. Consider that a test, okay? Consider it a test of your strength because you've gained a lot of experience through this turmoil. Remember what this person brought to the table in the past. Conflict. False offers. They didn't put in a lot of effort to make it grow. Now they see that you're being recognized, that they have competition, that you might even be falling in love with somebody. They, they Maybe they see Maybe you pass them somewhere and they see and, the, and it's that shock. And they get angry. There could definitely be some anger here. And they can't control their words. So you could receive some communication from somebody that is pissed. I'm trying to look for my deck here. You're being recognized. Look at this. You are. You're being recognized by several. You, you are. You are. And I think whoever this person is that lied to you and was fake sees it and don't like it. Now they've, they've become aware of what they've lost, huh? They recognize you now too, right? Of course they do. Choosing your path. All is possible. New vistas are ahead and you have the power to choose. And within and within this is your freedom. Do not allow the restrictions and limitations placed on you by the expectations of others deter your, deter your path. Be daring. Cast aside conventions and restrictions. I think I even used that word, restrictions. Dance, laugh, have fun, explore. Go beyond your predictable behavior. Choose life on your terms. Move beyond those situations that you've outgrown. Sometimes to be free, the traveler needs to put down his pack and just keep walking. There are times to live an ordinary life, but there are also times to cast ordinary things aside and fling your arms to the heavens in joy. You're not on the planet to always meet the needs and expectations of others. You're here to explore, expand, and step into your extraordinary self. Don't unconditionally accept the rules you have placed on yourself or that others have placed on you. Choose pathways that lead to greater freedom and happiness. This past is the past. Keep walking. Do not let this past hinder your happiness. It's a test. It's a test. That contract is over. Keep walking.
defend yourself. Because that was a bad karmic situation that taught you strength. It taught you to, to stand up. It, it taught you faith. It taught you to listen to your inner guide. You needed that experience to get to where you are today. Don't go back. Keep walking. There's an opportunity for love here with somebody that is better suited for you. There is. Keep going. This person sees it and they don't like it. Tough shit. That's my take on that one.